I'm Jim Blakely, and today I'm going to tell you about how Intel QuickSync Video is enabling the visual cloud. Video in the cloud has really been growing substantially over the last several years. It's been uh, roughly 60 to 70% of all consumer internet traffic, and that typically requires specialized technology and cloud environments. The visual cloud is a set of emerging workloads in the data center that really provide compelling, immersive visual experiences for end users. It includes workloads like video, media creation, and delivery kinds of applications. The second workload is really graphics from the cloud. So cloud-based gaming, being able to play a game out of the cloud. And then the third major workload is visual understanding, the ability to recognize videos, recognize content within a video. The largest of these segments is media creation and delivery. This includes things like you taking a video on your phone and uploading it to your favorite social media site, or watching a streaming video. When you take a video and upload it into your social media site, it goes through a process. Step one, you shoot the video, say with your phone. Step two, you upload that into your service provider's data center. Step three, that service provider transcodes that video into up to a hundred different forms. Step four, they pull it out of storage to display to billions of devices around the world. Today's infrastructure is pretty much all HD content, 1080p content. Right around the corner is 4K video, which requires about eight times the data bandwidth and the data storage capacity. Service providers need to provide a much quicker turnaround in transcoding and compressing those videos in order to get them down to a much smaller size for transport across their networks. Intel QuickSync Video is a video encode and decode technology integrated into Intel processors. The value of the integration into the processor is really twofold. First, it gives you a very, very tight relationship between the CPU on the processor and the video acceleration technology. This reduces latency, improves performance, and increases throughput. The second big advantage is that the technology is integrated into a single part with the CPU. This reduces the overall complexity of the solution, reduces the footprint required in order to deploy the technology, and really provides a much more cost and power optimized solution. So for the last several years, when people have wanted to do transcoding kinds of applications in cloud environments, what they'll do is run software on top of a standard server platform. To do a transcode on a standard server platform takes about 40 watts for an HD transcode. So by using Intel QuickSync video to do the same transcode, it would take about four watts. That's a 10x improvement over using a standard software on a server. In order to make it possible for people to use Intel QuickSync video, we're focusing on enabling the hardware ecosystem and the software ecosystem. On the hardware side, there are server vendors today who provide solutions with Intel QuickSync video. On the software side, we're focusing very heavily on enabling software vendors to produce applications that use this technology. We also have a set of tools, the uh, Intel Media Server Studio, which really enables people to create new applications that gets them out of the box performance very, very quickly. What really gets me excited about Intel QuickSync Video is the possibilities it unlocks. We're seeing new applications in virtual reality, 360 immersive videos, video stitching, computational photography, all sorts of very, very inventive things that, frankly, we never thought of. It's going to be exciting to see the kinds of experiences that people create in the visual cloud. If you'd like to learn more about the visual cloud and Intel QuickSync Video, visit us online.